everyone, welcome to Kenya Fun TV. Tuko maskani hapa Ruaka. And I'm with Mambo and uh, he's, uh, he's uh, languishing <laughs> as an Arsenal fan. Mambo, are you languishing or not? No, I was not surprised with the defeat. I expected it. I told you yesterday, our team, you, you, you had high confidence with Arsenal, but I told you that I don't expect any of you. And, and, and the results are clear and out. You can see it for yourself. The defense is miserable, midfield is miserable. You can even count the touches Oba has had on the ball. The question is, does Arsenal have the mentality to win? That's the question. Do they, do they deserve to wear that shirt? Speaking about Mambo, uh, today, uh, yes, Arsenal actually have had a greater percentage of the possession of uh, the ball. And uh, it, it was a, a team that had, had a mixture of uh, some, young, some young players. Do, where do you, where, which mistakes can you really point out like this was the first mistake, the second one or the third one? Just give me three mistakes that you felt Freddy did in this game. You see, the first mistake is, is I'll be honest, it's Pepe. I know he scored a brilliant goal and provided an assist during West Ham games. But to me, Pepe holds the ball too much and dribbles the ball. It's More than Gwenduzi. Just wait. This this game needed Lacazette. Lacazette has had experience of premiering, and 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 surprisingly enough, he he never made it even into the pitch. He was just there warming up the bench, and that's one thing is that is going to destroy his confidence. Because I don't understand how you can bring in Zaka, you can bring in Willow. Smith, and Will Willock. And then you leave out Rakazet on the bench. These are youngsters. And you are playing Man City. You are not playing a team in the Champions Championship. Speaking about the, then, the, the young then, substitutes. Then, uh, then, yeah. then, the other thing is that our defense. I know Ruiz is not good, but he, he provides great support. I, he's not a great center back. But that thing of leaving Ruiz out. It's bad, but generally, it's not even about who is who is playing. The, I told you, the thing is, do we have strong mentality to win? Uh, eh? can, do, can, our, can our defenders do real tackling? Eh? Or it, they just let the guys pass, and then they just admire like a, like a girl walking into a pub? You spoke about the substitutes, and uh, uh, Smith Rowe came in for Mesut Ozil. And... Uh, how did you feel his impact on the game after Mesut Ozil's uh, departure? Five minutes into the game, you could tell it to yourself. What have you, exp what have you seen for yourself? There was no coordination. Just, we are losing ball, we are losing ball, we are losing balls. It was not a wise substitute. And, and for, for me, this is the real rationale for you. Eh? The but, uh, for, for a long time, Mambo, I'll, I'll ask you, uh, for a long time, you know Freddie played under Arsene Wenger. And uh, are you not feeling at least that Wenger philosophy is coming through the one for holding uh, for possession, possession? Do you think? Do you feel like he's trying to build that team back, the one for possessing the ball and scoring when it's necessary? No, nothing, nothing. The possession, you, 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 you say like we had possession, but which possession? Is it on our half back or their their half? It's on our half back. That's not possession, huh? That's been being crude because actually every time we get the ball, we pass backwards. I'm telling you the problem with Arsenal, it's not even we have a problem called mentality. Huh? This problem is so contagious in Arsenal, it's very hard to cure it. Huh? You within the first one minute we were one goal down. Within the 15 minutes, we were two goals down. And how many shots on target did we make? As a, and remember, we were playing in our home, home ground. Well, we, we, have, we have had a bad record this season on our home ground. That's why I'm saying the problem with Arsenal is mentality. It's, even if we bring four, four world-class defenders and the rest of the team does not change their mental. So are, 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 are you, are you huh? trying to say that the problem is Arsenal as a team or the coach? As a team. When, when you say as a team, even the coach is included there. The only person deserving to be on a national shirt is Martinelli. That's it. That guy, you can see what he has done. That guy is... What about Oba? Yeah? Oba Mayan. 
But how many ch touches did he have? You know, for him to get up the ball, he has to get from the midfield. As a captain, is he having the influence in the in the in the field? Well, as a captain, I agree with you. Yeah. As I, a Oba as a captain, yeah. he, he, he don't vocal enough to yeah. to control the the game. He's not vocal. How, how many? Let me ask you. Have you seen the players shouting at one another, demanding? Where were you not there? Where were you not there? Why are you not covering this? Eh? As an players, like if the ball passes, they just start and admire a girl like heading to a club. That's all I can say. And and don't be surprised. If if you are waiting for for big things to happen, I know. I'll, let me one thing is, you know the interesting fact is Chelsea lost. Eh? And we so lost. and we lost. But and the different and then and then no. And the gap between Chelsea and Arsenal is seven points. Eh? We are having Chelsea on the eve before. Is it next year? After, after, after Christmas. Yes, after Christmas. So, are, are you content we are going to win our next games? We are playing Everton, Chelsea, Bournemouth. Three games. Bournemouth, is... yesterday, <laughs> surprisingly, defeated Chelsea. Not surprisingly, they deserve. <laughs>